What's up guys, Mike from Rockville, and today we're going to be talking about how to set up your Rockbooth XL DJ facade with an attachable table. Let's get to it. So right in front of me is the carry bag that comes with the Rockbooth XL so you can transport it from gig to gig, and inside is everything that you'll need to get set up. So let's open this up. So the rock booth basically comes in two different parts. The first part is our attachable table, and the second part is actually the facade portion. So this consists of four metal foldable panels that are connected to each other to create the facade. In addition, we have four locking knobs that actually act as stabilizers once you put the table on the facade. And then we have two color variations for scrims. So you can either put on a white scrim or you can either put on a black scrim. And this just gives you flexibility and options on the ambience and mood that you want to set when you're using the facade. For this setup, I'm going to use the white scrim. So the first thing we're going to want to do when we're setting up our Rockbooth XL is take the foldable panels and lay them out on the floor so that we can attach the scrims. So the easiest way to do this is to just pull it out so it's extending. And then the Velcro part, you want to be facing up. And once you have it all flattened out, you can go ahead and start to place it on the floor. Once you have the Rock Booth XL laying on the floor with the Velcro facing up towards the ceiling, you're going to take one of your scrims. So I'm going to start by putting this scrim on this panel over here. So what you're going to want to do is line it up long ways, starting with the corners. You're basically going to take the Velcro on the scrim, and you want to make sure it's super tight and stretched. So I'm going to go right here. So what I'm going to do is take the opposite corner of my scrim. Remember, you really want to stretch it out for a nice tight fit. Line it up, place it, and run it down with your finger. Then I'm going to go back to this corner here, pull on it, line it up. And finally, we have the last corner. And just keep running your finger through to make sure the Velcro is getting a nice and tight connection. Okay, awesome. So we have one scrim on one of the panels. The process for the next three is exactly the same. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, great. So once we have all of the four scrims on each individual panel, we can go ahead and lift the facade up. Now we're gonna flip it around. Now at this point, you can actually use the facade as is without the table placed on top of it. And the cool thing about that is it allows you to angle the sides out. So if you want more of a shape like this, you can do it and have it like that. You can even go wider or you can come in more so that you're creating more of an angle over here. Now, if you want to place the adjustable table on top, so just make sure that you have a right angle over here between this panel and this panel, as well as this panel and this panel, and then grab your adjustable table. Once you have your adjustable table in hand, you're going to notice that there's actually four latches. One here, one here, one here, and one on the opposite side. So you're going to take the side with the two latches and face it towards the facade like so. Once you have it in this position, there's actually metal bars on the two front panels and you're going to take the latches that are on the adjustable table and just latch them straight onto those bars and it'll fall right into place. Then what you're going to do is now attach the latches on the sides of the adjustable table to the side panels. And the side panels also have the same bar over here that you're gonna latch straight onto. So that's one, and that's two. And now you can see the table is sitting flush on the facade. Now before I showed you these four locking knobs, so you'll notice at four different spots on the adjustable table, there is actually points where you can screw these locking knobs into. So all you do is take one of the locking knobs, screw it right in, then you're going to do the same for the other three. And the cool thing about this is no matter what type of surface you're on, you'll always have that flexibility to even out the table to make sure that your DJ gear or any of your expensive equipment that you're putting on it is not at risk of falling. Now you'll also notice these two holes over here at the side of the attachable table, and these are cable management holes. So when you're running all your DJ equipment on the table, you have these holes where you can actually feed your wires into for a nice, clean, and sleek look. Now I actually put the white scrims on this facade so I could show you a really cool setup that involves some of our battery part 50 lights so let me go grab those so i have a couple battery part 50 lights which are rechargeable battery powered par lights and what you can do when you have a facade with a white scrim is you can actually use these par lights put them under the facade and illuminate it for a really cool look so all you're going to do is take one of your par lights you just want to place the light close to the facade frame so it's sitting almost flush and basically the way you want to space out your lights is to put one or two lights per panel or whatever you prefer so I'm gonna put this on the side panel, another one for the middle, two more for the middle, and the last one for the 
last side panel. Then you're going to want to turn all your lights on and turn the house lights off. And as you can see, these lights give the facade a super cool look, which is really great for setting the moods and ambiance at parties or if you're DJ. And another really cool thing about the Battery Par 50 and most of our Rockville Par lights is they come included with a remote that allows you to quickly change the color of the lights. So you can quickly change the color of your facade just by hitting a button. So hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to set up your Rock Booth XL. And remember, if you're putting on the black scrims, it's the same exact process as putting on the white scrims. So just follow the steps in this video. Again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support tech team through phone or email. As always, guys, I'm Mike from Rockville. I'll see you next time.